I'm certainly thankful, as most of us are, for my family. My wife, Pat, who encourages me every day through her actions and her words. My son, Brian, who we are blessed to have in our lives for 23 years before losing him so suddenly 11 years ago. My daughter, Emily, her husband, Jonathan, and our grandson, Patrick, who in so many ways demonstrate that God's continuing will for us is so good. I'm also thankful for our church family here at Brentwood, who have sustained and challenged us for more than 20 years. I am extremely grateful for these little children and their amazing imagination. This year, I am thankful for a job that I love, a church that I love, and that I get to serve wonderful people. I'm thankful for the amazing nurses, techs, and support staff here at the hospital who work tirelessly to provide comfort and care to those at their most vulnerable points. I'm really grateful for my ears and my eyes so that I can enjoy seeing and hearing all the beautiful things God has created. I'm thankful for family way up in New York and in Memphis. They're far away, but they're in my heart and I know I'm in theirs. I'm thankful for the family at this church that has guided me and led me in my faith journey for, for years and years and years. I'm very thankful for this wonderful team that I get to be part of at BUMC. That's our music staff, guys. And I'm also grateful for the amazing colors of the trees this year, especially this, this fall, that uh, God reminds us the world is good and he's always here with us. So, and I'm grateful for you, each of you. I am grateful for my staff and ministry colleagues here at Brentwood UMC who inspire me to be a better listener when it comes to hearing God's call in my life. I'm thankful for my home and my family, my job, the opportunity to work with kids every day, my church family, and my friends. And I'm also grateful for the internet and technology because it helps keep us connected when we can't be together in person. I find myself particularly grateful this year for the beautiful fall season that we've had. It's, it's always my favorite season, but this fall has just been spectacular. I'm also grateful for the contemplative prayer service that our church has offered midweek. A wonderful chance in the craziness of this world to just sit there for a moment in that beautiful sanctuary and take in the sweet spaciousness of silence. It's been a real gift and I'm grateful. I'm thankful for my wife, who is the love of my life, our children and our grandchildren. I'm thankful for our church that challenges us to be better that's humble enough to recognize that we have more questions than we have answers, and that always encourages us to be open to the love of our Lord. I'm thankful for my Sunday school class, which is a diverse group of people, different ages, different backgrounds, different experiences, different traditions, that time and time again has proven that they're able to set aside the problems of the day to encourage and support each other. And finally, I'm grateful and thankful for our country that gives us the freedom of thought, the freedom of religion, and the freedom to live our lives as we would want to have God would want us to live. We all indeed have a great deal to be thankful for.